Hello everybody, I have a project to share with you today. We are working on our geology unit and we're finding a lot of inspiration out of this book by Barbara Taylor called Mountains and Volcanoes. So today we are going to be crushing up some chalk and adding vinegar to it. The thing is, is that chalkboard chalk is not actually the naturally occurring chalk, which is composed of calcium carbonate, but rather it is composed of calcium sulfate, which is from the rock, from the gypsum rock. But we're going to try this anyway. So this is our, you know, experiment. We've added the chalk to it. And though it bubbles, I think it just bubbles because there are little air pockets in there and possibly because there is some calcium and so it might be reacting with the vinegar, which is an acid. All right, so we are now going to do about a teaspoon of baking soda and baking powder. So baking soda is made out of sodium bicarbonate and baking powder is made out of sodium bicarbonate but it's also mixed with monocalcium phosphate which is an acid. So what we end up having is a, a longer foamier reaction when we add the vinegar to the baking powder. So this was all a fun demonstration, but we really wanted to see if the chalk that is on the chalkboard, if that was actually the naturally occurring chalk that you find after a seabed has evaporated, like a very, very ancient seabed has evaporated because that's the way chalk is formed when all those little animals fall to the bottom of that sea and then get layers upon layers over them and then it, it uh, forms into a rock or you know into chalk. Now, we decided to crumble it up and see if that worked any better, and it really didn't. And so this was overall just a really fun demonstration for our geology unit, mixing acids and bases. But unfortunately, we do not have any naturally occurring real chalk to really try the demonstration that was recommended in the book. And that's why we ended up using baking powder and baking soda as an alternative. All right, so if you want to see some of the other projects that we're doing for our geology unit, you can click on the screen right now. And of course, you can find more pictures and our complete geology unit on my website at pepperandpine.com.